have any uh, questions for us? No, no, yes. Uh, Jan, when Jan and I travel here, you know, we're always in the car singing, you guys. And uh, I just was curious, when you guys travel, yeah. do you sing, like, carpool karaoke, do you sing, we sing while you guys. you're traveling? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you don't. <laughs> we do. We usually kind of play like, uh, we kind of take turns playing DJ. So somebody's like, hey, have you heard uh, such and such? And somebody will put it on. And we don't necessarily intend to, but if you cut to like 30 seconds into the song, we're all singing it. That's the coolest mm. thing though, is that we're all learning new, new artists. Yeah. yeah, because we're all into different things. You know that thing, that's the coolest thing about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? You disagreed, I said yes. Nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, any other questions? Oh, someone raised a hand over there. Yeah. Oh. Hey, yo. Hi. Do you guys drive the Mount Charlotte here? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All locked. How long did it take? And was it a Four and a half, yeah. And was it what, sorry? Annoying. Jason, Jason, you know what? I think because we all travel so much, we're so sick of airplanes and airports. So it's kind of nice to like hunker down in a car where you can spread out, go pee if you want to. Your buddies are right stop. there. Stop. You have to stop. Did you pee in the car? You're sitting next to you. Parties? Hardee's. No, we did no. not stop at Hardee's. They talked about it in Arby's. Hardee's is great. Did you not try it? Uh-uh. <laughs> ah, I don't think I... Hardee's, I don't think we have in Canada. Carl's Jr. Oh, Carl's Jr. Oh, okay. Burger place. Yeah, but Arby's is a roast beef sandwich place. Delicious. Okay. Where did yeah. we stop? No, we stopped at fucking Subway yesterday. <laughs> or day before. Because we, we could not find anywhere else to stop and eat. <laughs> Fine, I've been to Subway a gazillion times. It was just such a funny, we're like, well, I guess it's Subway. It was fine. We're fine. Do not feel sorry for our eating habits. We are taken care of. Who yeah, brought Paul all had a good Philly cheesesteak, though, that night, last night in Philly. Oh, yeah. That, that oh, really yeah. Nice. Well, we didn't go to any the special places. We just got at the hotel. But yeah, was... we kind of ran out of time to get to a, yeah. a room. Saw a restaurant that sells them, yeah. so I saw it on the menu in the, the hotel. Smart. And then all of us had other options, and we're like, Can I have another bite of that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Were you in Charlotte when, were you in Charlotte when he tried, he attempted the, the big sandwich? I was in Charlotte. <laughs> Where? Um, Max. Max Speed Shop. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Five pounds a week. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna try. I just wonder. <laughs> yeah, right. Try. I wouldn't try. I didn't even no. finish it. I wouldn't try. It's not cheap. Yeah, I could never even. <laughs> Bless you. But Jason was like, it doesn't matter, Paul. I'll pay for it. It does not matter. I want to see this. <laughs> I mean, I thought I thought you were gonna do it. So did I. The biggest problem was that it it was a timing thing because we were going in to have a light lunch because we figured we were going to eat before the show so i was like oh it's just like a couple of wraps or a small little burger or something so everyone's like oh I'll have a salad and all this and then jason's like hey pop there's a boy and i was like nah oh well and that was it yeah I, so um, that's so it was sprung on me and i had to like get in his own within like five minutes you know I was in the bathroom looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> I, was gonna go, I, told, I told Jason that I was like, dude, I, he's been in there a little bit. He's in front of the mirror right now. I should go on my phone and just go around the corner and watch him be like, you can do this. You can do this. Girl, like, walking this thing. <laughs> you are the champion. <laughs> I was very shrekish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, my my uh, Scottish accent is either uh, Shrek or Braveheart. <laughs> or Outlander, for some... Yeah. Let's hear Braveheart. Yeah. Outlander, yeah. Outlander. Yeah. Outlander. See if you buy the wrong way, playing outlaw tunes and outlaw pipes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Didn't you say the word? No. No. No, the deal anyway. I'm only guessing the laugh because I don't do that. The only one who understood what he was saying. Uh, were were the so guys good. trying to take the other guys? Were uh, Mel Gibson trying to take the guy's daughter out? Uh -huh. And he, he says he wants to go out in the rain, and he asks if he can take her, and he says no, uh, no the do anyway. <laughs> Is that what it feels like when you talk all the time? <laughs> And especially because I've got so many amazing jokes. Yeah. And I throw them out there. Oh man, because I mean, I nailed that. I'll be honest with you, I feel good about it. I nailed it. And this is what I got. Yeah, and I'm sitting right beside you. Welcome to my world. Yeah. yeah. You felt it, because you could see the faces. But I was with them. I felt what they were feeling. What were you actually saying? No, he's asked if he can take the guy's daughter out. The guy says, no. Well, in no Scottish, she's no saying, saying not, no. not now, not right now. But in Scottish, she's saying, no, the now. Well, you can understand this. my fucking confusion. <laughs> you know, no, the, the now? Lasagna thing? No, Remember the lasagna pan? Same problem. Oh, yeah. No, like that. No, 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 like that. No, like that. No, like that. The lasagna pan? Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll be doing the show alone tonight. <laughs> What's when, the lasagna pan? When we, were, when we were having the conversation, you and Paul were having a conversation about the way that you buy pasta if you're oh. making oh, yes. lasagna. Oh, yes, yes, and, yes. And you were saying you buy it like that, and he was saying you buy it a different way, but he was saying, no, he was saying not like this, Yeah. right? So yeah. he was doing this thing, and he was saying not like this, but in Scottish, when you say not like this, you say, no, like this. Oh, right. And I was like, like what? So no, she like what? thought he was saying, no, what? comma, like this. <laughs> but he was actually saying, not like this, which is the exact opposite of what he thought he was saying. And I was so excited that I saw the miscommunication happening, and I was the only one that knew what was going on, that I couldn't get it out. I was like, you did it. And I, 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 no. He, he's, and he's doing. Uh, yeah. What do you guys talk about on tour? <laughs> lasagna, making lasagna, digesting food, <laughs> thrilling Rocky. stuff, Rocky, Rocky. Yeah. Yeah. Rocky. Rocky. Yes. How was fishing? Oh. <laughs> well. I know, I went, I didn't catch anything, I only went the one time, because the funny thing is, is that I haven't, I've been fishing since I was a kid, um, and you're doing the same motion over and over for an hour, and then the next day, my wrist hurt so bad, I thought that I had sprained it. I couldn't move, I couldn't move it. And so I didn't go the second day, thankfully it got better. I'm not gonna say dirty jokes, I am not gonna say dirty jokes. I want to know why, why were you wearing the waiters, though? Why was she wearing the waiters? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, why wouldn't she I've wear never, Have you ever worn them before? I've never worn waiters They're until usually a, a kind of before. smelly. It so. made you look really like you were an expert. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. You are yeah. your yeah. 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 She, had, she had a good cast, too. Yeah, I, I have fished before. I just hadn't done it in a very long time. So I didn't catch anything. That first night, I think Billy is the only one that caught something. And then the next day, yeah, Billy. Yeah. 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 Hey, we gotta eat. Yeah. Uh, no, no, that was the day after. All the day. Yeah. Okay. I was having a lovely time too. He was having Duke. a lovely time <laughs> too. Duke. 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 Oh, dunked. Yeah. Why aren't they on the podcast? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, Charlotte. Scotland, Virginia. Virginia, everywhere else, <laughs> Kim's Closet. <laughs> That's why. I would love to have them on the podcast. I would love to have, really, anybody you can think of, we would love to have on the podcast. It's all logistics. When we're not working on these things or at a convention or working on the show, we're probably working on a dozen other jobs to, you know, pay the bills and you know, our lives going and flowing, so it's it's hard to 
to ask our friends to continue to give and give and give content for something like that. We would love to have any of them. You guys are all invited. Um, Road trip. Road trip. I'll get the RV. There you go. The RV. You are soon going to get a text from Kim going, who is Hayden and why yeah, is he in my closet? Why is he in my closet? <laughs> we have said. Is that weird? Nope. No, I actually think that should be, you know Kim. Kim would be like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> she'd be down for it. Yeah. Some dude in my closet. That should be our band name tonight. Ooh. Some dude in my closet. That sounds like a garage band if I ever heard one. Some dude in my closet. Are you going to have like an ellipse at the end? Dot, dot, dot. Or before? Yeah, before. Like it's an answer to something. Some dude in my closet. Some dude in my closet. So suck it. But you never give a verb. No. <laughs> Don't ever. Gotta, gotta keep them wanting more. Mm. Uh, yes. Okay, um, do you have your co a concert t shirt that you love in which band? Hmm. Is it? I just saw Heart and I got a, yes, they were unbelievable and I have so many concert t-shirts I decided to not get a new one and I got a hoodie instead, which is what I was wearing under the waiters. <laughs> <laughs> Billy? Um, my fear is the, the Tom Petty uh, t-shirt that I have that I got at his last concert at the Bowl, so. I, um, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna be honest. I don't. I wish I did. I have, I have concert tees that I bought as T-shirts, but not at the concert. You know, Bowie and Cash and you know stuff like that. Uh, and I love the T-shirts. And I would have bought them if I was at the show. But um, I hate live music. <laughs> so, uh, it shows, Jason. It shows. Too many T-shirts. Um, I, mean, I think you're next, but I'll share. Um, one of my favorite bands is Chevelle. And so they're a pretty hard rock. Chevelle? Shovel. Shovel. Oh, not Shovel. <laughs> we'll, we'll, work on, we'll work on that back there. Um, and they have just really cool t-shirts. And so, and then I also got a, I'm going to wear actually a band t-shirt that I got for the opening band of one of my favorite bands right now, Nothing But Thieves. And so the opener for them is this British band, and this guy, the bassist, he's like, I don't know, 6'4", six, 6'5", or something like that. And while he, he's a singer, and while he's dancing, Chris like, Schnelke? Schnelke. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, 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 um, and, and so he kind of like swings his hips back and forth, and he wears like these like lemon glasses. And so I thought they were really fun, and I, I bought their t-shirt, and I'll be wearing them tonight, so. I think Lane's is uh, my Thin Lizzy t-shirt. Yeah. Um, <coughs> that was pretty cool in London. Sorry, but I have like a. Do you guys collect uh, band T-shirts? No. Like every band I go to is like, I get a T-shirt because yeah. you know, like a badge of honor. Yeah. You know? yeah. But I hate it when they have shit T-shirts. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just not going to buy one for the sake of it. You know, like Springsteen's T-shirts suck. <laughs> and his shoes, and I really hold that against them. Oh, that's right. Not you want a good quality shirt because they're probably going to be 50 bucks. And a good design on it too. Yeah. You know, he has lots of t-shirts at yeah. the shows, but the crap. The <laughs> feeling of it is very important, right? So when yeah. you get like, because I know, like his t-shirt. I don't know if you guys see it's black and has like it says the captain. It's a really cool um, logo, and I, I bought one from him when we were in Rockwood, I guess three years ago or something like that. It's so soft. Billy has it on uh, this too. Yeah, yeah. I wore it uh, two days ago. Yeah. Very comfortable. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool t-shirt. Yeah, that's a cool t-shirt. So, so guys, when you're making t-shirts, be soft. <laughs> or bed sheets as well. Hard bed sheets are not good. Hard bed sheets, good name for an album. Just Hard bed there. sheets? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Maybe that's the band name, and the album is Dude in My Closet. Dude in My Closet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, do you have the Dude in My Closet album from Bed Sheets? Hard Bed Sheets. Hard Bed Sheets. Right. What do you think the number one hit from that album is? Mm. Under the Covers? Yes. Yes. 
Uh, five pounds of meat. <laughs> Winner, my dear man, have won. <laughs> Every time you say that, Paul goes, just like a slight vomit. <laughs> when, when, okay, so at the end of him eating this, he probably had four of the five pounds of meat on the sandwich, and uh, he was. It was obvious that he was pulling pulling the ripcord. And then we all kind of jokingly started giving him the pet talk and getting in his face and telling him he had to finish it. And that's when he decided to angrily eat all of the mac and cheese, which was a, just a poor decision, although we really enjoyed it. He ate the whole, a half a pound of mac and cheese after having decided that he was gonna give up and not eat the whole thing. So that was just for fun. And, um, and then when we walked into the second pub, on the pub crawl, the waitress, coincidentally, was carrying an entire tray full of mac and cheese and just was like standing, moving, like so that someone could walk by her. And Paul was right there and she was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Letting somebody walk through. <laughs> that was funny. Mm. I mean, it's, really it's kind of my favorite food. So. He's back on the way. Yeah. Yeah. He's back. Also, the we can't ride. scare him anymore. On the ride down, he did He did say, we were talking about the mac and cheese. He's like, is this really tasty? And he's like, we could probably go for some of that right now. I was like, you're back! And we do have a time lapse video of the entire thing. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Watching the mac and cheese. It's like, like one piece of meat that like slowly slides down. <laughs> You can't I was disgusting myself. <laughs> That's <laughs> fair, buddy. Yeah. You are discussing all of society. Yeah. But we're, we're still going to make money about it. So great. I'm glad you did it. I mean, I did it for you guys. You, you know? really did it for the tour. We, it's yeah. given us so much ammo against like, you. I'm a team player. So many good you know? stories. I think you have to sign a waiver to Yeah. Yes. Oh well, it's basically said if you die after eating this, it's not your fault. And in line with that, in fairness, at the end, it also says, in order for it to be free, you must keep it down for five minutes. Oh, oh. Actually? Yes. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. Belly made, me like, <laughs> Belly made a great point, and he said we should have weighed the sandwich when it came out. Because I don't feel like that was five pounds of meat. That might have been more than five Fifteen to twenty at least. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, I have a question for you guys. That's the right answer. There you go. No, do you guys, who has a question for Billy? You've been making fun of that song no. all the way up here. No. No. You've heard it once, that's enough. Okay, we'll sing it, but Billy's going to sing it by himself. Yeah. And Paul's going to be leading uh, Someone, Someone just said, they didn't say, please. They didn't say, please. They said, please. I uh. <laughs> can't say no to that. Um, what, does anyone have another question? For Billy, yes. Do you still uh, have Bill Murray playing you in a movie? Absolutely. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. At Aladdin's ring, you can read I asked him one. Who would play me in a movie? Oh, I would I love, love Bill Murray. Then who Solid. would you guys choose to play you in a movie? Are we going for like. Mm, I ask her. <laughs> they have to be yes, able to do it convincing Scottish accents. That's true. Right. That's a, that's a, that's the way I was kind of going with that. Does it need to be like Mel someone that looks like Jason? No, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Someone that looks like Bree? Or is it just like anyone? Anyone. Doesn't matter. Anyone. Idris Elba. Same. 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 Melissa McCarthy, I think. Yeah. 
Don't worry, you can put a funny answer or a serious answer. Um, Ricky, Ricky Gervais. Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, I'd like Chris Evans to play me. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> or Ryan Gosling. That's Please. why my wife wants right. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard of a Scottish <laughs> Don't. Jason, do not. Who would you have play you in a meeting? In a, in a movie. In, in a meeting? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> is this an adult film? Or? <laughs> um, there, there, she did not specify. <laughs> Very true. Um, either way, it would be Carrot Top. <laughs> I see that. Uh, yeah. I don't know, some of you said I looked like someone, and I can't remember what it was, they, but he's a, he's a British actor. And they brought, they were like, are you that actor? I was like, no. I was like, Charlotte. And they brought him up and they said, I thought you were him. And I was like, eh, yeah, maybe. So maybe he played me. So that British actor. There's a, Love that guy. a Disney actress that I have people <laughs> Send me pictures of her to my agent to sign as me because they think we're the same person. And she's a young a young actress, so I'm like, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> I can't remember her name. Cat. Um, no, I can't remember. So good story, Brianna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I did sign it. I did. So I was like, you know what? Here you go, buddy. You sent it from like Hong Kong or something. Wait, did you sign them as her or as you? As her. <laughs> uh, so he's gonna be actually confused. Even better. Yeah. Do uh, Do you guys want photos? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're gonna uh, we have time for a couple more questions and then we're gonna do photos. Hey, can I um, can I show something? Nope. Do you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there it goes the bottom lip. There it goes. Look what you've done, Jason. You've slowly broken everybody on this tour. Peyton, did you have did you have a question? I'm good. What was your what was your question? Do so you want to see my socks? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do. You just special. So, uh, I've never worn these. I got them yesterday. Yes. It's supposed to come the day before. I apologize to Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Shannon, you are Is it also a for me, gentleman Jason? and a yes. scholar and sad, a gentleman. I can be sad. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be a man, though. Fuck oh, that. So Thank I think you. You know, this is Shannon, by the way. He's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, Shannon. So I, we are. Thank you. What is the name of this tour? Okay. Wait. I'll hold that chair. Thanks, Shannon. <laughs> Don't pull it up too high. <laughs> oh no, I love it so much. <laughs> Are you actually afraid of heights? No. I can speak so a lot tall. of languages. What did you say? I'm sorry, I blacked out. What did you say? What did you say? You're so tall. Oh. Yeah. Well, ish. Yeah. Tallish. Not talking to you, Jason. <laughs> Who's got another question? Yeah. Will, uh, can we hear Honeybee? Yeah. Who are you looking at? Billy. Yeah. Really? Well, of course. Um, <laughs> probably not tonight. Will you guys Spotify? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull it up for you. We didn't, didn't work on that one. Yeah, no, that would've been good though. Been uh, good. No pressure at all. Last question, make it good, Mandy. 
<laughs> what is your favorite song that you're listening to right now? Those questions are tough because you you are torn between honesty. Yeah. Perhaps I've been on a, a crowd pleaser. Yeah. Cancer. Perhaps I've been on like a it's a Barbie world. <laughs> like, maybe I have, but in my mind I'm like I'm not gonna say that. What's the coolest song I can think of? Honesty. 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 Um, Both answers. All right, uh, Billy. There's uh, there's. Did you, did you answer that? No. All right. Um, there's a track off of Gary Clark Jr.'s latest album called "What About Us" that I've been just on repeat, and it's kind of all right. Me that's, that's the cool answer. Now the real answer. I'm just kidding. Probably... No, I, 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 threw, I threw it to Billy first because I knew that it would he would. Say would something have the cool answer, anyway because yeah. he listens to cool stuff. Um, um, we were listening to uh, Anderson East a lot on the way to Charlotte, who I who has been around for a while. Jason's been a fan of for a long time, which I didn't know. I kind of just discovered, or maybe rediscovered. There's a song I love called "If You Keep Leaving Me," which I think is kind of this epic love ballad, which I love epic songs that are long and change and have you know, gospel singers in it. Anyway, I love that song right now. Um, probably Shallow. <laughs> you know what, you should sing it tonight then, buddy. You should sing it. Um, Let's make those dreams come true. You Jason, are the only one that has it. Jason, 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 Jason. Thank you, guys. There's a reason I'm the only one who has not sung that song. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've been listening to a lot of. Uh, what is that? Poison. Poison. Yeah. I've been listening to a lot of genuine. Yeah. Yeah. And some. Um, yeah. Are these your cool answers? <laughs> like that's like the answer my mom would give. Be like. Mom listens to genuine. <laughs> No, but she probably knew that I listened to it in high school and was like, this will be a cool answer. <laughs> Such a dad. <laughs> I don't know. Paul? Back, I love Backstreet Boys right now. No doubt. No doubt. And no doubt. And no doubt. No doubt. Like it. Me, me I'm in a meatloaf face right now. Oh. So, uh, Paradise by the Dashboard. Like, yeah. Paradise by the Dashboard. I know what I've been listening to a lot lately. Uh, who Got the Hooch by, <laughs> by everything. You don't know that song. You know it. Okay, so when we were in uh, Virginia. Sorry, no, we're never going to get to pictures. Uh, when we were in Virginia, one night we all sat around and we're like, okay. What are your favorite one hit wonders? And we all had our favorites. Um, I think mine was to be with you, Mr. Big. Yours was. Oh man, was it like uh, I Am Tiger? Yes. Oh, it one. was not. I think it was I Am Tiger. <laughs> and Jason was like, oh, I, can't, I can't think of it. And we de scoured the internet for hours. <laughs> Long time. They wouldn't let anyone leave. Yeah, we no, I was like, I'm going to bed. He's like, Brad, you sit down. <laughs> And then he comes up with his answer. Guys, I found it. It's who got the hooch? <laughs> like By never everything. heard of any of that ever in my entire fucking life. We were looking for a band called Everlast. Who we not? Everlast. Yeah, Everlast. So that they are not a one hit wonder. They have many hits. Exactly. Hey. <laughs> um. So, One Hit Wonder? Is that the one? Or, or, no, or my favorite song, song right now. Two so, two of them, I'll give you the one I listen to a lot right now is Muse, Pressure, Ooh. from their new album, Love Simulation Muse. Theory. And then my kids, every time I get into the car, they say, Dad, um, can you put Queen on? <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, so they really love, I mean, they love Bohemian Rhapsody, and then they really love Don't, uh, Don't Stop Me Now. Yeah. 
Uh, thank you guys very much for the questions. We're going to do pictures now. And um, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, you, you would like to clear the room before the next show? Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So uh, we're going to stand up back there by the door and come up and uh, bring your phone and we'll, we'll do a little selfie action. And uh, they'll, they'll turn some lights on back here. And, uh, and if you could, do, do you know, groups because, because we have to play because the show. Because the longer this takes, the less songs we get to sing tonight. I know. Let's do this.